Next up, at UFC Vegas 99, we have one of the most traumatic before and after pictures you will ever see on one of our graphics. We got Rob Font taking on Kyler Phillips. Rob Font, 20 and 8 in his career. 1 and 4 in his last 5 on an unfortunate two-fight skit. Taking on pretty boy Kyler Phillips. 12 and 2 in his career. 4 and 1 in his last 5. He is on a three-fight win streak. And at one point in time, Rob Font was gritty, tough, a technical striker, solid chin, no power, but it didn't matter because he was such a good, clean boxer that he could work in and out of the pocket before people noticed or even knew what was going on. He has fantastic volume and almost six significant strikes landed per minute, decent takedown defense, and he is hit with fewer than four significant strikes per minute. He's coming up that loss to Davison Figueredo where he was taken down four times. Taking on Kyler Phillips. Very diverse striker. A well-rounded fighter overall. He can strike. He can grapple. His feet are always moving, which makes him difficult to hit and to take down. Most of the time, Kyler does a very good job mixing things up. He's willing to slug it out, put on a show, and that can be a problem. But he does have three performance of the night bonuses, plenty of cardio, and he weaponizes that. He's coming off that win over Pedro Munoz. <laughs> Where the striking was absolutely incredible. What are you Rob, laughing at? Rob Font looks like Angelo's voice. That dude, that's a great comment. I I said on my quick pick video, if you reverse these images, it looks like a before and after of a drug addiction. It looks like Rob Font's about to go. Oh. <laughs> Just a soul. A soul oh. is gonna leave. Yeah. Like the mummy or something. <laughs> oh flies out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is a tough picture and it's next to like Kyler Phillips the beard looks fake like it looks like he a, looks like Jesus Christ it looks like a like a, a, a and Rob pretty Font looks like he's possessed it looks like a pretty woman it looks like Kyler Phillips is disappointed that Rob Font let himself get possessed by a demon he's like <laughs> really like really Rob it again? is a, wi a wild stack up but I'm going to pick Kyler here. And before I pick Kyler, Rob Font, a couple years ago, was great. Calvin Cater, great. That gym, New England cartel, just a few years ago, was like, wow, they've got some of the best striking, high-level training. These guys are really doing something. They're getting fight night main events. They're doing all the things. And they never got better. They never got better. Max Holloway destroyed Calvin Qatar. He hasn't really looked the same since. Cheeto Vera destroyed Rob Font. He hasn't looked the same since. These guys never learned to defend takedowns, and all you need to do is take him down to beat him. And Kyler Phillips is younger, faster, has good wrestling. Rob Font is still good. I'm not trying to completely shit on him, but he didn't evolve in the wrestling department, and Kyler Phillips has cardio and wrestling, and if he sticks to that game plan, he wins this fight. Kyler Phillips is the pick. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, I've had my uh, Kyler Phillips one of those fighters where I've had a little bit of my ups and downs on him. I was I was very high on Kyler Phillips again, much like a Pat Sabatini before anybody really knew who he was. I was all over Kyle Phillips. I actually had his brother like messaging me on Facebook, sending me like these training videos, like he is ready and stuff because they were excited that I made him a, a lock of the week back in the day. And then this year I made him the anti lock of the week. I had Pedro Munoz over Kyler Phillips, and you're like, I, I can't believe you would do that. But if you watch Kyler Phillips in the way that he used to fight very explosive karate style explosive takedowns if he needed to win rounds he understood i can get a takedown to really solidify this round but as the fights went on he started to slow down second round those big explosions got to him he got a little bit more sloppy with the wrestling and i thought a veteran like pedro munoz would be able to kind of steal that second round and then take over with volume in the third round and you know what happened Kyler Phillips all of a sudden just doesn't get tired. He has that same explosive style with the takedowns, doing whatever he wants in the striking, very fast, in and out, pop, pop, pop. And he did that for 15 fucking minutes, and it made my lock of the week look absolutely stupid. <laughs> and in this fight, 
I think the same thing happens. Rob Font is good when you are boxing him, you stand in front of him, and he can pump you with that jab. Kyla Phillips doesn't fucking stand in front of anybody. I mean, he is literally like, he fights like bounce and bounce, and he's in, he's out, and he's doing the spinning stuff. I think that's just going to kind of overwhelm Rob Font. Um, Kyla's got really good wrestling if he needs it. He, he's one of those guys that, like, he doesn't really need it, but you can see him start to go to it. A lot of times when he would go to it when he got tired, and that's how he would try to rest. And if he couldn't get those takedowns, then he was in trouble. Now he can just kind of use them with free will to uh, kind of steal rounds or whatever. And if he gets in trouble at all, he can he can get a takedown as well. So I'm all, all over Kyler Phillips here as well. I think the, the odds, honestly, are kind of warranted. Uh, maybe a little bit pricey, but um, he isn't all the opportunity in the world to dominate this fight. He's a good fighter. He's really good. He's got, He's good. He would always slow down, but he was always, I mean, his skills are unreal. He's fast, dude. And well, he would also take risks he didn't need to take, but he doesn't seem to be doing that anymore either. So, um, both of us on the Kyler Phillips side, ninety three hundred dollars in DraftKings fantasy. Rob is a durable guy. He's good. He's experienced. Good hands. For Kyler to be worth this money, he's gonna have to go all in on the wrestling, and I don't know if he does. So, I think... <clears throat> you think what? I was going to give you, I'm trying to space it. I'm trying to give you these little pauses. The know, brakes, to... the brakes actually are hurting me. Oh, excuse the fuck out of me for yeah. trying to help out here. Thinking before you were like, go first so I can rest my voice. Now I'm giving you a little pause and you're now I'm getting yelled at for giving you fucking pauses. Go ahead, well, Angelo. Were, go the refused, fuck ahead. You refused to let me go first. So I had to tough it out and figure it out. So I made you a fucking better man. You're welcome. Yeah. I made you, you go so through much. adversity for the first time in your life, and look what happens. You came yeah, out on you. top, and you're feeling good about yourself. Thank you so much. Appreciate so all that. piece of shit. Kyler Phillips is going to be the pick. Not sure about that $9,300 in DraftKings Fantasy, though. It's only... <laughs> this feels like the fight to me that Kyler Phillips... I know Rob Font's never really hurt, and he is a durable guy. This yeah. feels like it could be one of those fights where he just gets knocked out clean because Kyler throws a wild shit. Rob Font's always yeah, hit, but too. He does get hit. I, I don't know about that. I think Kyler needs to grapple his ass off to be worth the $9,300. So I will probably fade in DraftKings Fantasy, but I do think he wins this fight. So does Jakey Boy. Uh, and if you want to check out all the picks, the bets, I do have a bet with Kyler Phillips in it. If you want to check that bet out. Oh, my God, me <clears> too. <throat> Oh my god. Simpatico. That was so loud. We want picks.com. Click become a member. It's only ten dollars for an entire month. And that month has UFC 308 in it. UFC Edmonton with Amir Albazi. UFC Vegas 100. It's a great month. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top.